It's not about like glamour and glory. It's about the work and it's about the kids. Well, you've gotten to know Lucy Laney Principal Mari Friesleben here on BTN and CARE 11. And tonight she has a new job, Principal at North High School. And as you can imagine, it wasn't a decision she made lightly. She spent the last 10 years at Lucy Laney and now she's off to a new job on Monday. Our Lindsay Sievert and Ben Garvin documented a year at, at the school with a documentary and their journey. And Lindsay, you join us now live again. You were the only TV reporter to talk with her today. How's she doing? Yeah, well, obviously we have a long-standing relationship after reporting on this school for over a year, but, but she's doing well. When I saw her, a lot of red puffy eyes, not only from her, but a lot of the staff on my way in, a teacher said, this is the best, worst news ever. Uh, but she told us after a lot of prayer and contemplation, she's really at peace that North is where she needs to be. She sees it as an opportunity to reunite with many of her old students, kind of bookend their academic journeys and see them through high school graduation. And she sort of brought us through how she came to this difficult decision after the district encouraged her to apply for that position over at North. And I thought about um, all that that I've been given and I believe in the verse that says to whom much is given much is required and so is there more required of me now? Is it time for me to move up with my kids? And so in the long run um, it was really it was really the kids that made the the difference for me, I felt like when I was going back and forth about Laney North, Laney North, the only thing that, that just kept weighing North down a little bit more was like, your daughter is going there and other people's children are going there and they have a vacancy in leadership now. They have no leader. They, they need a leader. They need a strong leader. I asked Mari what she was most proud of in her nearly 11 years here, and she said it was really just the tough, deep work that teachers have done over the years, not only making academic strides with test scores rising year over year, but they really turned around discipline. The school was fraught with many behavior problems. In fact, one year they had more than 700 suspensions. Now they've reduced suspensions more than 90% um, in the past five years. And she's also proud of creating a culture that the community, parents and teachers want to be a part of that feeling they've worked so hard to create of a family here, a tribe, and she hopes that she can ignite that same kind of excitement and culture over at North. You know, I would go through fire with these people. In some ways, we have been through fire, you know. Um, they're my people. Um, but... I told them this morning that, or this afternoon when I met with them, that um, they don't need me anymore. They may want me, but they don't need me anymore. They're good. And Mari lastly said another poll uh, towards North is that her daughter will attend there next year. Her daughter is currently an eighth grader. Her husband is also the girls basketball coach there. So it's really sort of an extension of the community and the life that she has built here at Laney. Chris. Yeah, yeah. She has so much gravity. She's just this overwhelming personality. Not overwhelming, that's the wrong word. She has a wonderful yeah. personality. She's a terrific leader, it's obvious. Did she tell you if she aspired to anything perhaps beyond North. I think people all the time, I, I'm sure people have thrown job offers her way, but she really felt that she was deeply rooted here. There's just so, so much at stake here, the blood, the sweat and tears. And in fact, she said she was never gonna leave this school until they got off the state's list of, of failing schools. And so she really just felt like this is where she was supposed to be, but she's a person that's led by God and prayer. And she said she's following the current, that North is where she's meant to be. And beyond that, I've never heard her speak of any aspirations. She wants to be with children and be inside a school. So we'll see. But she does have the gravity and what it takes to go elsewhere so it'll be amazing to follow her journey without a doubt she said they don't they may want me but they don't need me i love that quote hey lindsay thank you so much for your coverage on this and yeah. the, congratulations on the thank you good to hear yeah, from you yeah you too well in 32 Thanks. days kids at lucy laney will be greeted as they head back to school and as you know it takes more than a principal to make school successful 
A lot of that responsibility falls on the assistant principal, teachers, and other staff. And as we talk about Maury Friesleben's move, we thought it'd be good to revisit and highlight her staff as well. I teach because there are so many brilliant children who are not seen for how truly brilliant they really are. There's not a day that I wake up and I don't love knowing that I'm coming. I'm going to be in my same little corner. I'm going to say hi to everybody. I'm going to hug everybody. It always feels like it matters. I think teaching is my God-given gift. If you plant enough seeds, you're going to get one. One's going to pop up. But when you plant those seeds and you see multiple flowers grow, kids grow, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing else like it. I try to let them know that it's okay to feel how you feel, but you can always overcome any situation that you're in, you know, just like I did. The influence that teachers have on students extends farther than we can ever know. I am looking for Ooh. people who are looking to make these children and shape and these children and right, form see. them into the next president of the United States, the next Supreme Court justice. I mean, that we've got work to do. There is no time for pity. They can change the world. And my job is to teach them that. They are absolutely unstoppable. A kid will say, this work is hard, and the other kids will say, good, and that's something that I've taught them. <laughs> like, it's good when we have hard work, you're learning something, and that just makes my heart smile so big because it's like, yes, they're getting it. I got two kids at home, but these are my kids. These are my kids. They're mine. I get called mom like a thousand times a day. <laughs> I teach. For the outcome. That's why I teach, I, I like to see that growth when they're like, oh my gosh, I really got this. <laughs> it's so amazing. How do I find a book that you're gonna read? How do I find a book that you like? What are you interested in? Because there's a book about it and I will find it and I will get it in your hands. And then you'll be a reader because being a reader is great. There are some children in our society that are going to be okay. They could have a subpar teacher and they would still be okay. And then there are some children in our society that is the exact opposite. They cannot afford a subpar teacher. They have no room to give, none. Every single second that they are in school matters. That's why I don't, I don't look away from anything. I don't look sideways from anything. My students can take no chances. These kids are valuable, they're special, and they need to know that they're valuable, special, and loved all the time. Everybody has something to give, and I just want to take part in helping our kids find that. Get to love on kids and call them my babies as they can continue to grow up. That's why I do it. Teaching a lesson, the moment that they get it, and the way they faces light up and the way you feel because they got it, like, man, that is the most amazing feeling that, like, yeah, that's why I teach. For that, that moment right there is why I teach. That moment. It's, it's, it's amazing to just, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is. <laughs> I love that end shot. Well, you can watch these teachers, these students, and Mari in our documentary right here on CARE 11. That's coming up on September 12th. We're airing Love Them First. It's going to be at 8 o'clock p.m.